What is going on everybody, Jay here from Machi and Jay, today I got the unboxing and the review of this very interesting drone that comes with pretty much everything you need right out of the box for a very good price and I got it from banggood.com. It is called the Up Air 1, if you guys follow the history behind this company, their first drone was called the Up Air Chase which had a lot of problems. Then this different company took over which is called G10 Drone and they decided to keep pretty much the same name and the same design. However, the internals were changed to make it a little bit more reliable. And let me tell you, they did a tremendous job. This drone in particular comes with the battery. It comes with a gimbal, the 4K camera. It has FPV transmission. It comes with pretty much everything you need out of the box, which is really, really cool. Now, the only downside of this drone so far that I noticed is that it doesn't have any follow me features. And also, um, it only comes with one battery. Now the battery can be a little bit expensive. It's about $100 and the drone itself is $379 if you purchase the 4K model. If you get the 2K model, it's going to be around $307 and I believe there are coupons available. So yes, you can get this drone for quite low, but now getting accessories can be a little bit expensive. I guess that's the catch. So let's go ahead and look inside of the box. And as you guys can tell, it is quite huge. I had a lot of issues getting this inside here, so I do apologize if anything gets um, out of the way. So here we have the first little Chinese paper. I guess it has a lot of cautions and warnings and whatnot. As a matter of fact, we do have a translation in English, which is really, really cool. Um, inside, we also find some manuals. And now they do come in Chinese and also English, so you have separate booklets this time, which is another cool part about this drone. They are giving us support in English. So here we have the first booklet. We have the second one, which is uh, basically a quick start guide. And then we also have it in Chinese, two of them. Okay, so that's very neat. Setting this aside, we have a divider. And here is the beauty. If you guys ask me, this looks very similar to the Phantom 3 and also the Phantom 4 in terms of design. So here we got those four rushes motors. Okay, and it's very easy to install the propellers because they come marked. As you guys can see, this one has a red dot and this one doesn't. So according to that, you will install the propellers. I'll be showing you that in just a moment. So here is the 5400 power milliamps, 11.1 volts LiPo battery that is included. It's a smart battery, which means that it has the ability to tell you what's your battery status at the current moment. You can also power on the transmitter directly from here. It has a cutoff switch in case you overcharge it. Uh, it prevents it from exploding and so on and so forth, which is really, really nice. Now to get a replacement battery, it's about $100. So yes, it is quite expensive unless you purchase a use, which is a little bit of a risk. But yes, the battery can be expensive. And I guess, you know, it's because of the fact that it is a smart battery. Then on the bottom here, we have the gimbal. Okay, it's included, like I said before. We have this 4K camera. Now the 4K camera is interesting, guys, because basically what they did is just renamed the Firefly 6S that I actually never got to review, and they just uh, renamed it to Up Air 4K. It is a 4K camera that records in uh, 24 frames per second, also 1080p 60 frames per second, and uh, that's about it. So as we can tell, it's a very simplistic camera. We don't have a big screen on the back. We only have a little screen on the front side of it. Um, I believe it's a 12 megapixel sensor inside. So yes, this is uh, very nice that we have at least a camera included on here. And yes, of course, we're gonna be testing it later on in this video. Our next item will be the transmitter itself. This is a 2.4 gigahertz transmitter and it comes with the FPV 5.8 gigahertz. However, guys, I did have a lot of issues uh, getting a long range. I get about 120 meters to 160 meters, which is not a lot. On the front here, we have a seven inch screen. It has a resolution of 800 by 4, 480, something like that. Uh, so we can tell it's very clean. We don't have any trims whatsoever on here. We just basically got uh, this switch, which uh, gives you position hold, um, also altitude hold, and finally uh, headless mode. Okay, that's with the right one. I believe right now it's on uh, altitude uh, hold mode. If you go to the middle side, it'll be position hold, and then towards the very bottom, it'll be uh, headless mode, okay? On the other side of the transmitter, we have another switch. Now this one is very easy to use. First of all, to take off and to fly, you always wanna have it on the upper position like it is now. And if you flick it down, it'll return home using the GPS and whatnot. So we have here the little lever to take off and also to move the direction of the drone. And this is to go forward, backwards, and from side to side, very basic. So on the back here, we can notice we have a little connection for the, um, 
for the screen itself you can remove it in case you don't want to use the FPV transmission also this switch has different modes the first one is to turn it off which is the very left if you go to the middle it'll turn on the transmitter but not the screen and if you go all the way to the right it'll turn on the screen for you okay so just keep that in mind now inside here we're going to have the little slot for the battery and this is where we're going to fit that lipo battery that i was mentioning before okay so uh, this is a 2200 milliamp 11.1 volt battery okay and here it is included uh, it comes also with a separate charger for it so for right now let me just go ahead and connect it here briefly for you guys so that way you get an idea of how this works so i believe i had it on the on position already you hide the little charging cable okay you put in the back and voila that's pretty much it again to turn it on completely you go all the way to the right side or the left side if you're looking at it from the front and there we have the screen so from a first glance it looks like it has very nice uh, deep blacks and i would say brightness is okay but when you go outside you're going to have a very hard time viewing uh, stuff on the screen unless you have like a little shade or something that will make it a lot easier our next item here will be the props and we have two different colors one of them comes in black and the other one comes in gray the uh, black one goes where the red dot is on your uh, brushless motor uh, as i showed you guys before and then this one goes on the opposite side so it's very easy to install them nothing too complicated uh, next we got here the uh, wall charger this is for the battery the smart battery that goes let me show you here that goes behind it so this is the battery the connection is right here on the upper side so basically you just grab this make sure that the brand name is facing up you connect it connect it to your uh, power adapter which is right here let me see if i can find it for you guys here it is this is the um, power cord you connect it here connect it to the wall and you should be all set to go so very easy to do as well now here we have the lipo charger for the transmitter battery again it comes included so you're getting all this for just one price um, inside of the box here we have nothing else just the props that i already showed you guys so now let me go ahead and install them get everything ready and talk a little bit more about the drone go to the park and test it out okay guys so we have it right now at the okihili park this is about 15 minutes away from the house and i have already the battery hooked up to the drone and i also have the battery hooked up here to the transmitter so we are all set to go and um, to get it started first of all you must start your transmitter first before anything else uh, to do so as i said before there's a back switch here so if you place it on the middle position it'll be only for the transmitter transmitter but if you want the FPV to be functioning you have to go all the way to the right so there we go now you're going to see here the logo I know that um, I told you guys before that on sunlight it doesn't work very well it's actually very very dim especially if you have sunglasses it'll be even worse so now what we do next is uh, power on here the drone okay let me get a little bit closer uh, to power it on you have to double press it quickly and then hold it there we go everything is set to go and now it's bonding here with the transmitter itself to get the motor started first of all make sure that you're not on return to home position here with this uh, uh, switch make sure that it is all the way up and then i would recommend to uh, start it on position hold which is the one on the middle side and then what you do is you grab these two um, throttles and you bring them to the middle for about three seconds and that's it, we're all set to go. So here we go, hope you guys enjoy it.
right, so now we're coming back from that video sample, and as you guys saw, it did quite well considering that this is a $369 drone that comes with pretty much everything, including the 4K camera, which is the Firefly 6S. Now, I do have some complaints about this drone, and one of them is going to be the gimbal. As you guys saw from that video, even though the quality was okay, it was all thanks to the camera, but the gimbal does have a little bit of twitching up in the air. I really don't know what's causing it. Uh, maybe this particular one came damaged. That could be the case, but yeah, it was uh, vibrating quite a bunch, uh, especially on higher altitude. Another thing I noticed is that, um, as I mentioned before actually, the transmission of the FPV uh, stopped working after 120 meters, which is not a lot considering that this is a 5.8 gigahertz unit. Uh, those are my two main complaints and I actually have one more is the screen, as I said before, is very dim out there in the daylight time. So um, other than that guys, I think it's a perfect drone, especially if you're looking for something affordable that comes with everything out of the box. I know that sometimes you know you can get something like the Phantom 3, yes, but it doesn't have have the FPV capabilities included with it you have to purchase that separately and it could be very expensive so if that's what you're looking for then you're going to be spending anywhere between six hundred seven hundred dollars for for a drone with FPV now this one again is only 369 you get a brushless motor um, you get a very decent battery you also get uh, the 4k camera you get pretty much everything included out of the box and it comes ready to fly so there's not much that you need to do now in terms of durability of this drone um, I can't really speak for that because I've only been using it for about a week or so so I can't say that it will last you a long time I also didn't crash it you know um, it wasn't a major crash I just hit the fence with the camera and it did break as you guys can see so I can't speak for the durability I can tell you that at least from the experience that I had at the park I can say that it is a very cool drone to fly um, other than that guys if you do have any questions you know exactly what to do just leave your comment below don't forget to like this video if you find it helpful. Also subscribe if you haven't done so. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next one.